Jessica, could you tell me why you decided to organize a show dedicated to François Morlet? Um, it was time. Uh, it was time for Morlet in New York, and of course, Dia is the perfect place where he should be, alongside his fellow artists working with systems, with structures, with conceptual making of painting and sculpture, with neon. Um, Dia is, is really Morlet's home. It's, and it's very early on, right? In terms of the, the, the works are, uh, from the early 1950s and through to some of the last works that he made. So it's really a survey of his work. But why do you think he was kind of ignored in the United States until now? I have many reasons. Of course, one is the, the fiction that somehow the center moved to New York. I think it resulted in a myopia, a, a very um, closed thinking around what, what could be seen and what should be accepted here. And then on the other hand, I think um, misfortunes of, of, of the time and of the, uh, the way in which institutions were functioning at that moment. Mm. So you are repairing now? I, you know, I think it's a, a, the perfect moment. I think there's much more open thinking. I think uh, people are, are ready to see that actually um, Cholet was as much a center as, uh, as New York in 1952. So. Okay, Cholet. <laughs> Thank you.